Hi! In today's video, we will take a look at building a single pixel scanner. I got this idea when I got the HP 7044A plotter a couple months ago and thought it would be a good experiment to do. The idea behind the single pixel scanner is quite simple. In essence, I basically need to scan across the surface of an image and detect the light intensity changes at every single pixel location. Using this data, I can then reconstruct the original image. This really is no difference uh, than fundamentally how a typical scanner works. The main difference, however, is that the scanner uses a linear CCD sensor, which is uh, specialized in capturing high fidelity images. So as an obvious choice, we could just use an LED and then a photodiode as the pixel sensor. But the result would be just a gray image, depending on the reflected light intensity of the image. So then I found this uh, TCS34735 based RGB light sensor. And uh, uh, this module is actually quite popular for Arduino project, which only costs a few dollars on eBay. And I think this just might do the trick for this project to capture the color image instead of a gray scaled one. And as a uh, bonus fact, this one has already a library on Adafruit that uh, can be readily uh, used to drive the project. And as you can see here, it may not be very clearly, but uh, uh, the sensor is actually located in the middle. And toward the side, there is a white LED, which uh, you know can kind of uh, send out some light to compensate the dark image. Because after all, when this is over your scanning surface, it will be a little bit dark. So hopefully we can use this to capture some color images. So here's my setup. I mounted this uh, TCS34725 onto the pen holder of the HP 7044A plotter. And I tried to make the detector as close to the surface as possible, since I do not have an easy way to mount a focusing lens in front of the sensor module. So the image would be uh, very blurred uh, if the distance is too large between the surface of the sensor and the image because light from around the area would be picked up uh, by the sensor when I'm scanning a specific location and th then it would be blurring the image. But I don't think I can get it too close either as the only light source uh, on the board, if you remember from my previous picture, um, is a white LED and it wouldn't be able to illuminate the area the sensor is looking at if the distance is too close. So right now this is about, uh, I would say about uh, four or five uh, millimeters. I think that's uh, pretty much the closest I can get. Anyway, so here is the Arduino Do board that I programmed to do the scanning. And the code I used it will be posted on my website so if you can take a, uh, so you can take a look if you, later if you are interested. But the code itself is rather simple. Basically, it just generates two ramp signals from the DEC 0 and DEC 1 output to drive the plotter head. And then um, at each location, basically, I read the RGB signals, uh, I, sorry, the RGB values uh, obtained by the sensor off the sensor via I2C bus. Unfortunately, the sensor takes quite a bit of time to acquire the color if I set the resolution to its highest. So instead, for now, I just set the integration time to the second highest level, uh, which, by the way, is still pretty slow. Uh, it is at about 150 milliseconds. This means that scanning would be really, really slow. So for that, I increased the image quantization steps to make the image size just 128 by 128. And uh, at that rate, 150 milliseconds per pixel, it was still um, take almost an hour to scan the image because there's still some other overhead from uh, let's see, the Arduino processing. Speaking of the image, um, I just printed out this uh, this one, and uh, I have uh, different shapes and different colors so that um, we can gauge how well the single pixel scanner works. And I'm going to use an external power source to power the Arduino so that the deck output would uh, be less susceptible to the noise coming from the computer. Um, 
uh, computer USB due to the activities on the computer. So now let me uh, plug in the power and I probably will just leave it dangling here because uh, I don't have enough space. So let me plug in the power. And now I'm just going to plug in the USB. By the way, I'm going to try to take another screen uh, capture of my computer so you can see what is going on. But uh, right now, whoops, it's the wrong USB cable. Right now, hang on. We're just going to plug in the USB. And, uh, okay, wrong side. And I'm going to turn on, uh, just bear with me one second, turn on the uh, scanner here. And I'm going to put the cart hold, uh, to hold the, this paper down. And the servo, I'm going to put the pen down. And uh, So right now it's in reset mode. So now you can see it's a scanning but uh, we don't have the computer set up yet, so which is what I'm going to do right now. So let's, uh, uh, for that, uh, you're going to have to excuse me a little bit. I'm going to hold that in reset and uh, come to, uh, can I just one second? Come to my computer, and uh, now you can see we have this uh, terminal what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, first of all, set to record to a file. And uh, let's see here. I'm just going to say, uh, this is good, image. And I'm going to configure the port to be uh, this, this last one. And the baud rate is a 9600. So after this, um, when I hit OK, it should, uh, well, so this is probably from previous uh, uh, run. So now if I release the, uh, the reset button, it should start recording here. And then we should see the file starting accumulating. <laughs> By the way, I have this, uh, you know, so I, press, I printed out the starts because um, I wanted to make sure that when I get the actual data out, I can kind of... Uh, uh, get rid of this, so this would be my true start of the uh, the recording. So we'll let this run for uh, for a while, and uh, as you can see, that each uh, pixel comes back with three data points, which are the uh, the representation of the RGB value at the point of the scan. So this is going to be forming the whole uh, image, uh, pixel by pixel. We will let this run for a while. I probably won't be recording the whole hour, but uh, I will let you know when it's done. And uh, we will process the, uh, the data dumped from this uh, run, and uh, we'll see what image we get. Okay, it looks like it has finished uh, scanning. So let's go hop back to the computer and uh, see what we got. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got here. And uh, so the screen finished recording and I'm just gonna examine the, uh, the output uh, text file that we stored. So it looks like we've got all the data in here. And so the next step is basically I wrote a simple MATLAB program, and I will show you here. So I just uh, load it up. So it's very simple. Basically, I read in the uh, the, the image, and uh, I'm going to scan it line by line. Uh, for the raw image, I'm going to uh, basically shape it into a 128 by 128 uh, image. Now to do that. Uh, because we have RGB written out as three separate uh, values, 
I'm have I'm going to have to reconstruct them one by one here. So basically, the first one、um, is my R, and the second one is my green channel, and the third one is my blue channel. And then afterwards, I reshape these、uh, into the rectangular shape. So that's essentially what the image is. And then I、um, combine them into an RGB image and show it here. So let's、uh, give it a go here.、Uh, yes, change folder. So aha.、Uh -huh. So here is our image, and、uh, it is actually pretty darn good. When you look at this、uh, compared to the original image, yes, the color is a little bit off, but that's kind of、uh, expected because you know we're just using this very cheap、uh, single pixel sensor. But nevertheless, you can actually see the shapes of all the、uh, the, the shapes that we printed on the paper, and the color is somewhat uh, uh, representative of what the real color is. So that's actually really good. I'm not sure what this uh, little uh, uh, thing is. Probably there's some glitch in either the software or、uh, during scanning. But anyway, nevertheless, the actual picture here is actually pretty good. So as you can see, if we increase the、uh, resolution, so right now I'm doing a 128 by 128 scan.、Um, If we increase this to be 256 by 256, you can expect that the quality of the image to be improved somewhat. And if we scan this as a real uh, 100, uh, sorry, 1024 by 1024, then I suspect the quality is going to even be better. But the problem, as I mentioned earlier, is that the scanning is really slow. So right now, it takes actually it took just about 50 minutes. Uh, to finish this、uh, 32, uh, 128 by 128 image, imagine that if we're doing 256 by 256, it will take four times longer, which would be roughly three and a half hours. And so you can do the calculation. So it's a、uh, it's incredibly sl slow, but nevertheless, we prove the fact that we can actually use this、um, single pixel scanner to scan our image. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a big thumbs up, and I will catch up with you next time.